Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A warning tonight for parents. The FDA claims some pediatricians are giving out unapproved medicine for earaches. And while many parents will try just about anything to relieve their child's pain, the FDA warns against one particular ingredient. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. A child with an earache is miserable, and as parents, we will try anything to relieve their pain. But one of the most common ingredients in eardrops may lead to dangerous side effects. Steve Wolf still remembers how his son used to cry from the pain of his chronic ear infections. They'd keep him up at night, he'd be crying through the night, we'd be calling the emergency room calling his doctor. The doctor gave his son a prescription that relieved his pain. Well, we found a combination of remedies worked best, combining antibiotics to fight the underlying infection, painkillers such as benzocaine to treat the pain. But that ingredient is now the target of an FDA warning, which says airdrops with benzocaine can lead to dangerous side effects. That turned fatal in one severe case when a baby was given the drops despite warnings not to use in infants younger than one year. Benzocaine is one of six drugs that are allowed by regulators for certain medicines, but were never evaluated by the FDA for use in airdrops. Over the years, those medicines have been used a lot. And, and the FDA is simply pulling the medical community back in to say, wait a minute, there can be serious complications of these medicines. Eyewitness News has learned that the FDA says manufacturers now must stop making airdrops with benzocaine and many pharmacies are removing the airdrops that contain it. But the question is, now what? Well, many parents counted on the pain relief they were getting from these airdrops with the ingredients. As a parent, having used these medications, we found them safe and effective. Now, the FDA says parents should return the airdrops with the ingredients that are on that warning list and ask their doctor for a substitute prescription. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.